What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2017 video. Today I am going to be talking you through the goalkeeper wonder kids, the best goalkeeper wonder kids on Football Manager 2017. I'm also going to be doing this for every single player position so if you are looking for these type of videos be sure to drop a subscription to the channel and obviously they'll be out in the next coming days and also be sure to like this video if you are hyped for Football Manager 2017. Let's jump into the video anyway. Okay, so as I said, we're starting off with the goalkeepers. How it's going to work, I'm going to show you five, maybe six, maybe even more players for that set position at the start of the game. And then we're going to go forward five years. So yes, they won't even be fully developed. Some of these lads, you know, you can see some of them are 16. So we'll only be 21 in five years time. But it's just to show you the type of progression they have made in that time. But let's start off with our first goalkeeper anyway. Okay, so we're going to start off with Pedrag Radjevic. I believe I've said that right. I'm not too sure. He was actually a wonder kid in Football Manager 2016 as well. The 20-year-old Serbian goalkeeper who plays for Maccabi Tel Aviv. He's valued at £1 million. And just take a look at some of his attributes on screen. We're not going to spend too much showing you through the player at the time their game loads it's more going to be focused on five years time to see how they develop but as i said one million pounds he's earning 10k per week he's actually wanted by a club let's see who wants him psg so that kind of tells you the type of gun completely off there that kind of tells you the type of club that are interested in this guy because they know he's going to be a wonder kid let's move on to the next player anyway okay so moving on to our next guy we have got mile slivar again don't quote me on these pronunciations of the uh, names. I'm not very good with them. He's 16 years of age, so he is the youngest out of these goalkeepers that I will be showing you. He's valued at £500,000, and he's on £50 per week on his contract. Obviously, I'm guessing, yeah, he's got a youth contract. He's actually wanted by Chelsea, Man United, Tottenham, and Real Madrid, so a lot of big European clubs are already after him. You look at some of his attributes, some of them are pretty decent to be fair, but some of them do need working on. And obviously just being 16 years of age, that will happen with time. Let's move on to our next guy. Okay, so next up we've got Bartolomeji. Oh my word, Dragowski. Yep, I just, yeah, I'm not even gonna comment on that. He's 18 years of age and he is Polish. He is worth 975,000 pounds on a 6.25 thousand pound per week contract. However, he may be a bit difficult to, you know, bring away from Florentina as he is on a five-year deal. He's literally just signed for Florentina by the looks of things. Yeah, so for 2.8 million. Obviously, as I said, 18 years of age and some of his attributes are pretty decent already for the goalkeeping position. You know, you've got the highlighted key attributes for the goalkeeper uh, role. And to be fair, there's some of them pretty decent. 16 for reflexes already. But I wonder how he'll develop in five years' time. We'll find out very shortly. Moving on to our next guy. He is 19 years of age and he is Italian. But he's actually on loan from Udinese. I'll come to that in just a moment. But it's Alex Moret. He was also a Football Manager 2016 wonder kid. He's on loan at Spal. And I'm not too sure who Spal even are, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's click on them. Okay, so they're in the Serie B, so obviously in the Italian uh, division still. And to be fair, 19 years of age, some of his attributes are pretty impressive, but some of them you don't really need, like determination, work rate, and so on, natural fitness. You don't really need that for a goalkeeper, as you can see. The highlighted ones are the ones that are important. And once again, they're pretty decent, but they could do with some working on. We'll see how he develops in five years' time. And then finally, we've got the big one, the one that all of you guys knew were going to be on here. He was on here last year. He is probably going to be the best goalkeeper in the world even in five years time when he'll still only be 22 years of age it is Gian Luigi Donnarumma 17 year old kid for AC Milan who is already a first team regular which is just absolutely crazy he's already valued at seven million pounds so you can already see that price difference from him to the rest of the guys and it's quite obvious why his attributes are much more developed already this guy is going to be an absolute world beater there is not a chance in the world that he will not be the best goalkeeper in this game in a couple of years time I am putting my money on that as I said his attributes are already really really impressive what's his lowest key attributes as such it's 10 for first touch which isn't that bad everything else you know that's highlighted 14 15 13 15 13 14 16 he's got some really really nice attributes let's see how all these guys develop in five years time okay so as you can see we are five years into the future i've got the players values i've got the players and i've got the clubs they are at interestingly two of them are actually brushier dortmund which will be kind of hard to see how that figures out but let's start off with the cheapest or the least valuable 
of these players. Okay, so let's start off with the least valuable of the players. It is Alex Moret, 24 years of age, Italian player who has yet to make a cap for Italy. He's valued at £5 million in the game, but his attributes, to be fair, are pretty impressive. You know, he could probably walk into any Premier League team and be one of the first choice options. Maybe not for the big, you know, the top four, top six type of thing. But as certainly, you know, any other Premier League team, he could probably walk straight into. Now, one of the big reasons that I think his value isn't as high and he's probably not progressed as well is because he is at Dortmund, and I'll come to that in just a moment, but there is a little indicator of that. Uh, we'll take a look at some of his attribute growth. Okay, so we'll take a look at some of his attribute growth. Can already tell a lot of his attributes have gone up just from looking at them and then trying to think back to what he already had. So this guy has definitely improved as a goalkeeper. It's just a bit of a shame that he is a backup to one of the better goalkeepers in the world. We'll move on to our next guy, and I believe he was the oldest, I think, out of all the players, and it's Pedrag uh, Ragovic. And as you can see, he's actually had a decent team in Benfica. I'd imagine he is probably first choice goalkeeper. Yeah, you can tell by the amount of games he has played. He's valued at 8.75 million and he is wanted by Real Madrid. So that speaks high. That speaks very, very highly of him to be fair. 25 years of age, he's already made 40 caps for Serbia. So obviously uh, he is the first choice Serbian goalkeeper. As I said, he's valued at 8.75 million on a 25k per week contract with three years left to run. Once again, we're just going to take a look a bit of his attribute growth. As I said, I won't be able to see it, but on screen you guys will be able to see. And if you want to do so, you can pause the video just to see how much his attributes have increased. As I said, these guys are only 25 years of age, which is where, you know, outfield players start to peak and then they continue to the late 30s, but goalkeepers don't really tend to peak to leave and later. So the fact that these guys are actually pretty impressive now is really, really good in terms of them and their futures. Move on to our next guy, and it's actually Miles Slavar. He's 21 years of age, so if you remember, he was the youngest out of all of these players, and he's already valued at £13 million, and he's already on £110,000 per week at West Ham United, and he's still only 21 years of age. He's yet to get into the Belgian first team, but if you look at these attributes, you look at his value, and you look at his age, it's not going to be long before he does so. He's already West Ham's first choice goalkeeper. He's conceding quite a few goals, to be honest, but that's kind of expected with West Ham, no disrespect to them. But as I said, once more, I'm just going to have a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of attributes very quickly. And if you want to pause the video, you can do so. But you can already tell his attributes have gone up, you know, in the five years that we have gone forward. And he's still only 21 years of age, as I said. So he's still got a lot of learning to do. Okay, so the second most expensive goalkeeper right now. It's kind of obvious who's going to be number one. But the second most expensive is uh, Dragowski. As I said before, I don't think I've got his name right, but he is currently at Inter Milan. So he left the Serie A uh, team in Florentina to join another Serie A team in Inter Milan. He's only played 18 games for them, so it does make me question whether he is the first choice goalkeeper. Uh, he probably is actually. Maybe he joined in January or something like that or had some kind of injury, but he did play a lot of the uh, games last season for Inter Milan. He's valued at £18.5 million on a £70,000 per week contract. He's still only 23 years of age, making five caps for Poland. Once more, we're just going to have a bit of an attribute uh, comparison on screen right now, hopefully. And as you can see, it does kind of tell you why this guy is now worth £18.5 million. He looks pretty impressive and still only 23 years of age. He's got a lot more time to develop and potentially become the best goalkeeper in the world. And moving on to the final player, it's kind of obvious, wasn't it? We have got Gianluigi Donnarumma, the 22-year-old he still is. He's only 22. He is still 22. That's just absolutely crazy. He's made 45 caps for Italy already at that age. He's valued at £36.5 million on a £105,000 per week contract with only two years left to run, which is quite interesting. They're going to have to try and tie him down to a new deal pretty soon. He's been at uh, Dortmund for three years, which is good to see. And look at them attributes. I can't even say anything about it. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous, some of them. He looks really, really impressive. I wouldn't be surprised if he is the best goalkeeper in the world. We'll go and take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, let's see how many uh, appearances he's actually made in his career. So... He made, actually I'll go back to here because that's more accurate, not to there, right? So he made 92 appearances for AC Milan, obviously since the game started. And then he made 90, he's already made 90 appearances for Dortmund. So he's going to overtake his uh, Milan appearances. Let's go and see what he's like in terms of the rest of the goalkeepers in the world in five years time. So if we go to position, we go to goalkeeper, goalkeeper, there we go. And uh, no, that's my shortlist, right? Um, fuck that up, didn't I? Right, let's go over here, position. 
goalkeeper. Let's see where he is. Okay, so in terms of world goalkeepers, Donnarumma isn't first. This Edison fella, he's first. He's a PSG. He starts out at Benfica. He wasn't actually on the Wonder Kids list, or at least he wasn't that high up on it. So Donnarumma is actually second. And people behind him, Oblak, Courtois, to Stegen. So, you know, pretty decent goalkeepers. Even David De Gea is still below uh, Donnarumma. So he rarely grows in to be one of the greatest goalkeepers on the game. That is all for the goalkeeper wonder kids in Football Manager 2017. If you like this video, let me know by dropping a like on it. Also, comment down below which goalkeeper you may try and sign. And also, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more wonder kids videos. That, I said, will be coming out over the next day or so with the FM release. But thank you all for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.